irony can be a, a, a really humorous thing sometimes. It really can. According to CNBC, who was the first to break this, the PGA Tour, the Live Golf Tour, boop, they're going to be merging. They'll become uh, one entity. So where do I even start on this story? Because I've been, I, you know, I've seen a lot of coverage from different pundits, some that were for it, some that were against it. I've seen uh, golf fans talk about it. Most are against this and whatnot. Okay. I will say the same thing now and elaborate on it, you know, with the fact that, again, that they are joined at the hip now, essentially. If you are, if you the uh, the viewer or the listener to this podcast, if you are the type of person who pays very close attention to other countries' human rights violations, and if any company that you purchase anything from, purchase their products from. If there is a certain cause that you are against and any uh, public uh, entity, any any business that's in any way associated with them, you just totally, you know, you're, you're out on all of it, then this segment is not for you. I'm not, I'm not here to criticize you. Like if you're consistent, hey, <laughs> God bless you. That you do what you got to do. To everybody else, a little bit of a different story. So people are freaking out because obviously it's a live golf. For those that don't know, is a Saudi backed um, uh, golf tour. So again, they're merging with the PGA, and there was a lot of pushback because you had first of all Phil Mickelson was really the first guy to to join the Live Golf Tour, and guys like um, Brooks Kepka joined after him. Brooks Kepka uh, just won a major recently, which I think was a big kind of turning point for the PGA. And you had all of these. You had Roy McIlroy. You had Tiger Woods, which it's funny hearing from Tiger Woods, and I love Tiger, but it was funny hearing from Tiger Woods, who's a billionaire. You know, telling guys what money they should and and should not take. And we're mad because it's a Saudi-backed league. Again, if you are against anything that is involved in any way with Saudi Arabia and you reflect that in your uh, purchasing choices, th- again, I got this isn't for this is not directed at you in any way, shape, or form. If you're consistent, God bless you. Do you know Saudi Arabia is the United States' second biggest trade partner? And have been since 1931. 1931. So Saudi money has been involved with the United States for darn near a century. Those that are curious, some companies that do business with Saudi Arabia include Exxon, AT&T, Bank of America, Twitter, Coca-Cola, just to name a few. What bothered me more than, and I have, I, I'm not the type of person to, to get outraged over everything. Like to me, that's that's what Twitter's for. Like if the tiniest thing happens on Twitter, and people lose their mind. I'm not, I'm not the type of person to just get mad at everything. I think it's it's a waste of energy. It's just, it's, 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 it's you know, why are you gonna be mad all the time? It's not, it's so fun. But one of the few things in life that really genuinely genuinely bothers me is. Holier than thou, self righteous people. I've talked about it all the time when I've talked about the baseball hall of fame. When they don't let certain guys in, like with the steroid thing, the, okay, we're not going to let Bonds, A Rod, Clemens, Sosa, all those guys into the uh, into the uh, into the hall of fame. That's funny. You let my man love him, Big Poppy in. You let uh. Pudge Rodriguez in, you, you let Mike Piazza in. You know why? Let's be honest. They're nice guys. They're they're great with the media. They had they built relationships with people who covered them. A Rod, Barry Bonds, they were kind of jerks <laughs> to the media. This was their way of taking it out on them. Even to a certain degree, T.O. with the NFL Hall of Fame, because T.O. was a handful at best for numerous teams and numerous members of the media. He was all of his numbers screamed first bout Hall of Famer. He didn't get in until the third try. That was the media's opportunity to take to to go after T.O. to sort of pay back in their own way. 
I don't. Self-righteous people drive me crazy because at the end of the day, it is all rooted in hypocrisy. Those that are angered about this and not angered about certain other things. I want to be clear on that. Do you know where the shoes that you're wearing, do you know where those came from? My guess is no. I don't either. How about the clothes that you're wearing? I don't know. I'm wearing a Red Sox hat for, for those that are listening. I don't know where this thing was made. The level of hypocrisy and the holier than thou and the people acting as if they are morally superior in this whole ordeal drives me crazy. At the end of the day, and this goes to any, forget live golf, forget PGA. This goes for any business in America. We are a capitalist country. This goes for any business. It's all about the bottom line. And I would, I don't think I'm going out in a limb and saying this. The president of the PGA Tour, Jay, is it Jay Monahan? Is that his name? Say uh, the guy who was just ripping the golfers for leaving. Mickelson and Kepka and Dustin Johnson. Funny. They get l massive contracts, obviously, to join the live, the live Golf Tour. What do you want to bet the offer was by Live Golf for PGA to hop on? All of a sudden, when you're put in the position that the golfers were, oh, you jump at the first opportunity you get. And here you were for the last year ripping golfers, ripping the guys who left, and you did the exact same thing. Always in life, ladies and gentlemen, be very skeptical of people, be it in your life, be it in uh, you know, public service, whatever the case may be. Always be very, very skeptical of those who act as if they have a – uh, they're on this 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 moral high ground. They are morally superior to you. It is often them who either have the biggest skeletons in their closet, or, or as you know, do as many hypocritical acts as you can imagine. Good for live golf. Good for the PGA. I feel like again, I I'm more of a casual golf fan than most. They can kind of save the sport in some ways. PGA was losing its best players. They had to give them back in some way, shape, or form. And the second that they were offered a very, uh, not very similar contract, I can imagine they were offered way more than some of these individual golfers were offered. I can imagine they jumped at the first opportunity they got. Thanks so much for watching the show on YouTube. Be sure to click that big red subscribe button and go check out the other clips and full shows of Carving It Up Live. Have a blessed day.